All right, we're going to give this a couple more minutes before I get into it. Um, first of all, I hopefully uh, hopefully this looks a little better than uh, the last one, a little less grainy. I don't know, lighting's really hard in my studio. It's very uh, uh, dark in my studio, so I try to open up the windows and get some natural light and have a couple of uh, other external lights shining in. So hopefully everything looks a little bit better. I'm still using a webcam, um, so quality is what it is. Uh, so today we're going to review the 1000 Toys uh, 1 12th scale test body. It's uh, the it's there. It's this year's 2018 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Um, I know this is a sore subject for a lot of fans. A lot of people really, um, really wish that it was open to the public, and I can completely understand that. Um, the one six scale version of this figure is still to this day my favorite Thousand Toys figure ever released. Just the the paint, the decals, and things like that on on the uh, one six scale are uh, top notch. They're just they're just really well done. So um, I was really excited to receive this one from uh, Thousand Toys for this review. And um, you know, if if you if you can't make it to Comic Con, if you can't manage to get your hands on one of these, I wouldn't I wouldn't despair too much. I mean, I I have no information. I have no insider information. I don't know, but I I can't imagine that just from my experience I find that generally when something says Comic-Con exclusive it usually means uh, something like Comic-Con exclusive for now and um, often companies will release uh, re-release the con re release them a little bit later down the line so hopefully that's uh, you know hope you know you never know just uh, try to stay uh, positive about it I guess um, a little bit of information real quick about this. Let me uh, pull up my chart here. Um, as usual, this is, I mean, this is, you know, our live video. So I'm just um, kind of going off the top here and going to talk about it. Uh, but I will also repost if you're missing the live broadcast, which you probably are. Let's be honest. Uh, it'll be on our YouTube page as well, and I'm going to write a full review um, on RadToreview.com with some taking some further photos and have all the information written down there that you need to know uh, to in order to get your hands on one of these. But just just real quick information: um, the price for these are 80 bucks a pop. Uh, you have to right now at this time uh, it's a event exclusive um, for various comic conventions all around the world. Uh, starting with um, CCG Expo in Shanghai, China, then Comic-Con, uh, San Diego Comic-Con in San Diego, and then the ACGHK uh, convention also in Hong Kong, and then later in Wonderfest in uh, Tokyo, Japan. So um, con exclusives for, it's a con exclusive for a while, and um, you know, if you want one, hopefully you can make it one of those conventions. Um, 80 bucks, let's find out if it's... Uh, how it holds up. All right. So here we go. Let's open this thing up. Uh, first. Outer sleeve, of course. It's lovely art, art artwork on the outside. Um, you can't, can't see if you can tell that, but nice little decal there in a glossy print. Lovely, just lovely. Put that there. External internal box, and then a clear window where you can see our hero. All right. This is an instruction booklet of some sort. I will, I guess I'll open it and check it out. Can't hurt. Yeah. 
it's just a little explanation on how to change change different parts out. All right, let's see what we got here. So let me get the guy out. Here we are. His different parts. It's gonna be hard to do without spilling it. All right. So looks like, uh, as far as accessory goes, we got um, two changes of hands, and of course the skull mask to swap that out. Now. You update something real quick here. We're still alive. All right. Awesome focus. Hold on one second, guys. A little technical difficulty here. Okay. Let's get into it. So... Let's just pull this guy real in, in as quick, as close as we can here. I don't know uh, these webcams. There we go. Man, you can kind of make out some of the details. Really, I mean, of course, the little, all the little uh, sculpted, detail, sculpted details and the little decals on here, just they look really nice. Um, you got some, uh, you got a wash to kind of bring out um, in all the little grooves and sculpt details. Um, it's got a little bit of weathering. It looks like this is an attempt at weathering here on the paint. Um, it's not quite as, uh, I, I have the 1.6 scale, but it is in storage right now, so I can't do a direct comparison right now. Um, it, I, you know, I don't know, I, I feel like it's, it's a little, probably less detailed than the 1.6 scale as far as that's concerned, um, which is to be expected. Um, you know, some things are just, uh, easier on 1 12th and some things are easier on 1 6th and weathering and, de and paint details and things like that tend to work better on larger scale stuff but what we have here looks really good looks he looks really um, really clean not clean but uh, it just works it looks really nice he's nice and weathered um, and definitely in stark contrast I do have the other the synthetic test body um, the other one twelfth scale. I'll bring that out in a minute. You can kind of compare the difference between this one and the other. Um, but one of the things I really like about this one is all the decals and just this, the different gradients in it. Um, you got this sort of off-white uh, paint scheme um, on different panels, and then you have his, and then it's more gray. Um, it's just not, a lot of like nice little contrast bits. Now the face itself. you can see. Now one big difference between this and the 1-6 scale is that the skull face on the 1-6 scale is actually behind the clear face. 
So they opted for reasons unknown to me, but I'm sure they have good ones. Um, instead of doing that, it's just a swappable uh, thing. So this pops off. And this pops right back in. Come on, camera. Do your job. Man. Like, it's just refusing to focus at all. I got the whole majority of the screen covered in my hand, and it's still trying to focus on stuff in the background. Well, that is frustrating. There we go. All right. So. Nice and creepy skull details with the red rings around the eyes, just like you expect. Um, the jaw does not move at all up and down. It is uh, all just molded one piece. I don't believe the eyes, maybe the eyes can turn. Let's see. It does have the little pegs. I don't know if you can see that. Come yeah, on. All right, try this again. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, there's little, tiny little uh, pegs in there. So you can, it looks like you can adjust. I'm gonna try to do this. I need something much smaller, but yeah. yeah I can move the eyes around a little bit. My guy's a little bit googly-eyed, so I might have to adjust him in the future. Um, so that's cool, they managed to keep that little bit of articulation. Uh, they did lose the jaw um, open and close, which is kind of a shame, but it is what it is. So, now let's see. Now, one of the things that I really love about Thousand Toys figures is, I mean, it's, a, it's one of the most um, highly posable action figures out there. Um, the base, the body that they've developed um, is at least in the one six scale, is uh, in my opinion the best, most dynamic um, one six scale body um, for any action figure. Um, and one of the things is there's a lot of figures out there, especially in one twelve scale, that are incredibly posable. Um, things like Figma and um, figure arts and things like that. They they are all very posable. But one of the things that tends to be a, a thing that Thousand Toys has figured out how to do more than um, most other companies is that you can pose these guys well that popped off as I'm talking about um, you can pose these guys and their joints are strong they hold up to pretty extreme poses and uh, or a lot of things you'll get and they'll have like a loose ankle joint or a loose um, you know, loose uh, thigh joint or hip joint or shoulder joint or, you know, something's just falling off. I used to buy Play Arts Kai figures all the time, and those are getting more and more expensive. I, they're, they're like up around 150 bucks a pop now, and they're beautiful. They're so well sculpted, and they just look wonderful. But the last, like, two I got, the shoulder would just literally come out, fall out. Um, and another one, the knees just flop and flop around. So, um... Thousand Toys has somehow figured out how to get the tolerance right on their figures to where they can really hold excellent poses, uh, extreme poses, in in expressive poses, in a really in really uh, and just and hold them in uh, really securely without uh, you know without get the joints getting really loose and worn out and um, flopping around after time. So. Um, and it looks to be, I mean, I'm just talking here, I'm just kind of talking as I'm going here, but it looks to me that this holds true for this guy, too. Um, you know, you can see that, you know, obviously I posed him with on one leg. Uh, it's not something that's super easy to do, and I did it really quickly. Um, you know, get him down in like a, a spidery kind of 
suppose. Let's see how far we can push it. Get these. Yeah. Okay. So we see that the. Uh, let's see what's going on here. You can see that the uh, hands do pop off pretty easily. That's the beauty of doing these things live. They're not definitely not polished, and my camera blows. But you do get to see the honesty in it. You don't. You know. There's no. There's no. Uh, pretending that something is awesome that it's not um, or pretending that something sucks when it's amazing so you just you just gotta you just gotta see it get to see it all um, so let me dig this thing up quick pick up this ah, sorry for that all right so since we're dealing with hands that pop off little dog hair um, obviously that's an easy, that's easy, so we got fist, action actually feels tighter on there, um, and this one feels tighter, so maybe it might just be this one, this one hand's a little, uh, stretched out or something, I don't know, it's got a trigger hand, that one too, that one's really tight on there. this one yeah this one just for some reason it must it must be this particular thing it's uh, for some reason loose oh well, now this one's popping out right after I was bragging on you guys come on just kidding no it's still There we go. <laughs> so yeah, um, the figure holds up to the kind of poses you'd, uh, whatever kind of pose you'd want to get. I'm going to put back on the clear face, the mask. Um, you know, I like I like the fat, the, the clear face, but I, I kind of miss having being able to see the skull underneath. Um, that is uh, kind of a bummer. You know, it'd be nice even if they could have faked it. You know, put sort of. Uh, a thin sculpt under there or something um, to even just fake the fake the funk a little bit but um, like it, the one six scale one it just looks so cool with this the skull like peeking out peeking out there um, but yeah let's just go over the articulation real quick I've, I've sort of droned on and on about this thing already uh, we'll start from the feet so at the feet you have the you have a you know a ball joint uh, with a swivel, so you can get his feet to do all sorts of super cool things like that. Look at that. Um, I, I unlike unlike the one six scale, the heel does not articulate. I think I think their one six scale figures are one of the few uh, action figures, if maybe the only action figures that feature heel articulation. Um, this one is not the one twelfth does not, but it does have toe articulation. Up and down, spinning. Uh, you've got a, a double knee joint that folds almost completely in half, which is fantastic for posing. You got a ball joint on the hip. Um, you can get him to go really far forward, and nah, honestly, not that far back. But really, in real life, I mean, you, 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 most people can't bend their legs, you know, 90 degrees back anyway, unless you're a gymnast or ninja. Uh, of course, you got the thigh swivel, goes all the way around. Um, at the hips, uh, the hip has a nice, nice rotation in the hips, and of course, the whole spine column thing is, you know, super flexible all the way side to side. Um, really far forward, nice range backwards. Shoulders, same thing. It's got this little extra thing for a little extra cup there for nice rotation. Um, yeah, the, arm, the the shoulders go anywhere you want. You've got a bicep rotation. You've got double 
elbows once again like the knees engineered almost exactly the same way just looks great and then you got a ball joints uh, wrist you got all sorts of fanciness and then in his neck you have two points of articulation um, again ball joints on both actually three you can see it's a dumbbell dumbbell uh, joint in there so peg in there so yeah I mean I feel like if you can think about the pose you're gonna be able to get it with these guys um, let's do a quick comparison with uh, the clean version so you can really tell now I love the porcelain look of the original these original bodies um, had this guy crouch for so long his feet are wonky so similar thing with this guy I can't remember yeah for some reason I forgot that the skull mask wasn't behind there anymore but it is not so there you go there's your comparison you can definitely see a weathering difference um, the original is super clean uh, you know, very, very light detail, maybe maybe the light wash in the seams, but really super clean. And compared to this one, where there's definitely sort of a muddy, a brownish uh, weathering going on on it. Um, also, just the slightly off-white look of the, the figure overall gives it like a kind of a more used, worn-out machine. Um, it's, uh, but it's beautiful. It makes the, makes the sculpt pop, makes the figure pop. I love the little decal decals. He's not overly, you know, not overly detailed, not overly, uh, you know, uh, covered in logos or whatever. But just even just having that nice orange pop on the shoulder just looks really, really good. Um, and um, you know, if you do have a couple of these, you can exchange. They do, you know, they're interchangeable. So if for whatever reason, I'm just gonna do this for just to do it. Give him a clean. <laughs> so there you go. Um, that's pretty much it. That's that is the uh, that covers it. I mean, um test body holds up to thousand toys general uh, usual high quality um, I will do a quick comparison I don't my 1 6 scale version of this figure is up in, in storage right now and I meant to have it out for this review but I just didn't make it over to storage so I have another one of their fantastic figures so you can see um, uh, this incredibly detailed beautiful lovely sculpted figure of theirs um, so you can see the size difference. Pull the camera back a little. So there you go. You can see 1 6 scale versus 1 12 scale. Um, pretty much what you expect, basically half size. Um, and the fact that they can squeeze so much articulation into You know, one six scale articulation and details into this guy, into this size body, is pretty amazing. Um, I'll say pros and cons. The pros and cons of this figure, I would say, the pros are just about everything about it. It's it's uh, it looks fantastic. It's incredible. It's highly posable. It's um, it's made very well. It's durable. Uh, any pose you can think of, you're gonna probably be able to get out of it. Um, he looks cool on the shelf. He plays nice with others. Um, and uh, highly coveted by fans all across the world. Negatives. He's highly coveted by fans all across the world, and he is an exclusive. So for now, at least, until Thousand Toys decides to release it uh, to the general audience down the road, 
only those lucky enough to go to a con will be able to get their hands on this figure. Uh, the other negative, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a negative because it's been the case with most Thousand Toys figures. It doesn't come with too many accessories, you know, a couple hand swaps, um, which is cool. It's cool to have them, um, but, you know, it, it gives a little more expression. But, for example, this hand looks like a gun hand, you know, it's got like a trigger and everything. So, you know, I don't know. You could probably find a 112th scale gun and fit it in there just fine. Um, I wish, I really love the, uh, the skull face and especially with this clear one. It didn't bother me. I didn't even remember on this one because I love the mass, creepy mass face on this one. But I didn't even remember that the, um, the face behind here, you know, it, it's, there's no face behind here like on the larger scale. And I can understand from an engineering standpoint how that would have been hard to pull off. Um, so I get it. Uh, but I do, I do kind of wish that they had done something to the back side of this to mimic, to fake that skull look because it just looked so cool on the 1-6 scale. And even, I think even since it is such a small scale, even the density of this small piece of clear plastic, it'd probably been hard to see through it anyway. Um, it just doesn't look quite as creepy as the 1-6 scale one. Um, but it is still really nice and you can still, I'm sure, get a lot of nice looking photos out of it and whatnot. So yeah, I think, um, I think once again, 1,000 Toys didn't, 1,000 Toys did not uh, uh, disappoint. It's a fantastic figure. I highly recommend you pick it up if you can. Um, hunt it down, but try not to pay out the nose for it. I know there's going to be a lot of people flipping these things. You know, don't give in. Just just be patient. Wait until they hopefully release this to the general public and pick it up for, you know. I mean, you can be mad about it as much, you know, you can be upset about it. But they have thrown they have thrown collector's bones over, over the years. They released the original. They released the 1-6 scale version of this guy to the general. Re-released him earlier, I think, earlier this year, I think, or late 2017. I can't remember. Um, which no company does that. No company goes back to their most sought after, most coveted uh, figure and then just re-releases it, um, you know, with no limitation, just, you know, just whatever, 24 hour sell or whatever it was and you could buy as many as you wanted. Um, so, you know, don't be too upset at them. Everyone, every company does this, every company does exclusives um, and a Thousand Toys takes care of their people, takes care of their, their fans and, you know, maybe just post on their online post let them know let them know that you want this to be um, a, a uh, open to the public uh, figure just make sure the demand is known and you know maybe they'll maybe they can make that happen no promises I don't know anything I don't have any kind of insider information or anything but <clears throat> for now con exclusive in the future who knows um, it's a lovely figure if you can pick it up if you're going to comic-con uh, later this month definitely pick it up definitely make it by the booth and stand in that long line and do your best to uh, to uh, pick it up um, I'm gonna repost this video for those who missed uh, the beginning of it it's a lot of me just uh, going on and on but I'm gonna repost this video on um, our YouTube channel a little bit later and then I will actually write a full review and take a bunch of pretty photos um, and post on RadToyReview.com probably by Saturday or something like that, just later on in the week. So again, I appreciate you guys who came in, stopped by to watch and and uh, check out the review. Um, again, I, I you know this is still kind of rough. We're still uh, trying to figure out the the kinks, work out the kinks. One of those being just how badly this camera won't focus on anything. Um, I tried a solid background and it focused on the background. I tried this busy background and it sort of seemed to work a little better earlier. Uh, and now it's it just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it wants me to do. Um, but we'll figure it out. We'll work out the kinks. This is only our second time doing a, a live stream. Um, we did upgrade our audio a little bit. It's probably picking up even more background noise thanks to uh, me living in Hawaii where our walls are paper thin so I can hear my neighbor sneeze in his living room and it sounds like he's in my closet. Um, so I'm never going to have studio sound in here, but hopefully at least it's a little clearer, a little louder uh, than, than the audio I was using before. And um, 
we'll figure out the rest. So once again, I appreciate um, you guys who stopped by, stopped through to check this out. And, uh, you know, subscribe on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, and um, go to our Facebook page and our Instagram page. We have it all um, to stay updated and check out the cool photos, check out the cool reviews, all that sort of things. Thanks for swinging by. Um, until next time, take care.